I like my marching band because I'm in it and I did the little spare week breakdown. Oh, I like that one too, though. It's all right. How many, how many subscribers do we have now? 143. Hold on, hold on. How many kids go here? Like 700. No. Yeah. That's yeah. ridiculous. That's terrible. Solid. We got to do better. Good, Good morning, morning Fairmont Heights. Heights. It's Ricky Rick it's on the beat. I can confuse the co watch with me. Yeah. We got the juice, yeah. this day every school. We talk about sports and I daily go poor. Make a big plays in the field on the court. Fair my eyes when we coming up short. Nah, nah. Once I find out we even the score. 8 a.m. when we walk through walk the door. Yeah. A's and B's will hunt us galore. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, Donnie's bro, what's good? Bro, you know who Doug Williams is? No. Bro, you know he was the first black quarterback to win the Super Bowl? For real? Yeah, That's bro. One thing about this, you know, uh, Joe Gibbs, Bobby Babb, Jack King Cook didn't bring Doug Williams to San Diego to, to show off a black quarterback. Uh, we know why we came here. We came here to work hard and win the Super Bowl. First and ten. Slipping down is Williams, and he gets sacked at the 24-yard line. He uh, might be hurt. Up. Did you see him twist his leg when he went down? And Doug Williams, what did he have his one leg in there at an awkward angle? If I'm able to get up and walk, that I was going to finish this football game, pain or no pain. Washington Redskins offense is back on the football field, and so is number 17, Doug Williams. And Williams going deep. Sanders beats Haynes. Sanders out in front. 80 yards, touchdown. Hello, sports fans. <laughs> Whoa. Williams to pass, lobs it up. He's got Clark at the goal line. He's got it. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Faked this time. Faked out everybody. He's got Sanders in the clear at the 10. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. We are seeing a virtuoso performance. Get another one right here. Let's see. Do they go up top? Lobs it into the end zone. He's got Didier. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. <laughs> Holy cow. You're watching this. This is history in the making. Most valuable player of Super Bowl 22 is quarterback Doug Williams of the Washington Redskins. The first black quarterback to start a Super Bowl, the first black quarterback to win a Super Bowl. I'll tell you what I hope Doug Williams does. I hope he puts to bed once and for all about the black athlete in professional football. Does my blackness offend you? Is my hair too curly for you? Are my hips too wide for you? My dark brown skin glows with all the melanin I have been gifted with. My luscious thick hair is filled with curls that bounce with every stride I take forward, away from oppression. My hips sway perfectly with the drums beating in the air of the motherland. Does my athleticism bother you? Is my intelligence too much for you? Are my people beneath you? My athletic feats have been studied by generations of white Americans who've hoped to find an extra ligament in my leg. My intelligence has been the reason for many inventions all over the world. My people will rise above, always have, always will. My people will be given justice where it's due. My people will be heard, just like the drums from the motherland. Does my blackness offend you? What's up, y'all? I'm back. Let's take a moment of silence to watch these last two sports reports. I'm back with your sports report. Wayne Simpson and Paris yeah. Scott Watson. Good job, girl. Good job, boy. Now let's go on a rest, because sometimes you got to flip some people. Yeah, I had to cut, cut it off, cut it off. Trash, all right? Come on, let's get back to the real sports reporter. Your main man, Lua. The girls, they got a much needed win against CPA. Sophomore Temple Christian scored a career high of 17 points. Kaya, as well as the rest of the team, got in on the scoring, too. They traveled to Potomac the next day with confidence. 
but sadly, they couldn't pull off the upset. RJB and Varsity Boys also lost badly to Potomac. Even though it was a tough loss, they never gave up. Playing without their starting point guard, Markel Norman, and two of their starting bigs, Michael Howard and Derrick Heath. The final score was 52 to 81. This past Tuesday, we played our historic rival, Douglas High School. I hate Doug. I really hate Doug. It is a rivalry that dates back over 60 years ago. Did you know that Fairmont and Douglas were the first two schools to serve African American students in this area? During segregation days, they were only allowed to compete against one another. A little black history for y'all young bucks out there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah. But back to basketball, our girls lost. We played them tough in the first quarter, but couldn't keep up the momentum. The size and experience helped them come away with the win. JV boys lost at home too. It was in a dramatic fashion. Our guys were trailing over 25 points at the half. They closed the gap and made it competitive, but couldn't get it done. Varsity boys also lost to Doug. I really, really, really hate Doug. We came back in the middle of the fourth quarter, but couldn't get the victory. They lost 77 to 68. Our basketball team played Oxen yesterday. The girls played on the road. Hopefully we'll have some good news to talk about next week. That's it for basketball. Let's talk about swimming. The team competed in the county championships. They did well. The boys freestyle relay team shaved their seed time and wrapped up the relay in under two minutes. Markel McLean created a new record for himself, swimming the 53 in 23.94 seconds. Overall, in our division 3A2A1A, the girls ranked fourth and the boys ranked sixth. Everybody was motivated and gave his or her best during their event. Some of our swimmers are competing in the regional competition Saturday afternoon at Fairland Aquatic Center in Laurel. It's been your main man, Lou Wap. You know, the main sports supporters back. Last week was all right. The week before that was god awful. But you know, I'm here to deliver excellence. Peace. Hey, class of 2023. Did you know you need a completed to graduate? If you sign up for the brand new Business Administrative Services program here at Fairmont Heights, you will meet your completed requirements by your senior year. Better yet, students in the program will leave with Microsoft Office Specialist Certification for Microsoft Word and Excel. All you got to do is complete four classes just to complete the program. And in today's global society, it's all about the certifications. One more information about the program, see Mr. Williams. He in there. I'm Elizabeth and I'm Charisma and, and this, this is, is your, your weekly, weekly update. update. The Environmental Academy here at Fairmont Heights are one of the few schools in the country to participate in the Muscles in the Classroom project. This project commenced on February 12th. Students will grow muscles in their classrooms. Freshmen can join the Environmental Studies Academy in their 10th grade year. Students in this academy take specialized courses that prepare them for a multitude of careers, inclusive of leadership, public speaking, and entrepreneurship skills. Interested students, please convey your interest to Mr. Covington and Dr. Cynthia. Fairmont Heights High School music program invites you to a night of symphonic winds with Howard University, featuring Fairmont Heights Wind Ensemble. On Thursday, February 27th at 7 p.m., this concert will feature the sounds of the symphonic winds of Howard University performing pieces by famous composers of Western classical music. The proceeds from this event will help raise funds for new uniforms for Fairmont Heights High School Marching Band. The tickets can be purchased online for $10. Tickets will be sold at the door. The link can be found in the description below. March 4th, the 9th graders have a field trip to the Smithsonian to see five different museums. Permission trips are due February 21st, no later. The price is $20 and see Ms. Wilfolk in the guidance if you have any questions. Seniors, please pay your dues. Caps and gowns must be paid by March the 2nd. Please see Ms. Kim Raj. The Seniors Award Banquet and Brunch is May 21st from 11 to 2 at the Killen Recreational Center. The senior trip to Bush Garden is on the horizon. More information about that is coming soon. All is needed for the basketball concessions. We really need help selling the snacks. By the way, Kuther misses all of you guys and he wants y'all to go to class and stay focused. Again, I'm Charisma. And I'm Elizabeth. And this, and this was your, your weekly, weekly update. update. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, we have a three-day weekend, so enjoy. We're in no Trump.
I ain't got no boo. I feel so bad for Randall. Well, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And have a great day on purpose.